Hi there, so glad you joined us today here on the back porch. You are just in time for today's story with Lila and Lucy and Litzy. Are you ready, girls? My favorite time of the year is springtime, and one of my favorite holidays is Easter. I love Easter bunnies. I love getting candy for Easter. And do you like Easter egg hunts? That's a lot of fun. Well, today's story isn't actually about the bunny. It's the real story of Easter. It's called The Story of Easter, and it's written by Alice Joyce Davidson, illustrated by Victoria Marshall. And it's a part of a series called An Alice in Bible Land Storybook. Let's get started. A little girl named Alice was so happy it was spring. She loved to see the flowers and to hear the robins sing. Alice sat down in her garden underneath some budding trees. Her favorite Bible storybook was propped up on her knees. She chose to read of Easter, which was just five days away. And as she read, the airmail bird brought this note her way. Reading is the magic key to take you where you want to be. The Bible storybook she read became a giant screen. She walked on through to Bible land and came upon this scene. This early Sunday morning, just as the dawn was breaking, three women walked up to a tomb. Their hearts were sorely aching. Their beloved teacher, Jesus, who was wonderful to know, was killed by those who feared him just two short days ago. They saw the stone that sealed his tomb had been rolled away. Inside the tomb was empty. The women feared to stay. One woman, Mary Magdalene, ran off to tell two others, John, Peter, Jesus' friends, whom he treated as dear brothers. All three ran back to the tomb, Peter, then John too, found that the tomb was empty. What Mary had said was true. Although the tomb was empty, John and Peter found cloths which had wrapped Jesus lying on the ground. Feeling scared and puzzled, John and Peter left the tomb. Mary stood outside and wept. Her heart was filled with gloom. She looked inside the half-lit tomb and saw two angels near. They asked, Why are you weeping? She replied, My Lord's not here. A man who stood behind her asked why she wept still more. Then gently he asked Mary, Whom are you looking for? Mary didn't see the man. The light was very dim. She thought he was a gardener. And so she said to him, If you know where they've taken him, please, please do let me know. Wherever they have taken him, that's where I want to go. The man just answered Mary. All at once she knew his voice. Mary knew the man was Jesus, and she felt her heart rejoice. Mary cried out, Master, and quickly turned around. Lovingly she kissed his feet, and she knelt upon the ground. Jesus said to Mary that she should go and tell his loving friends and followers that he was alive and well. I'm going to my God, my Father, who is your God and Father too, and even though I'll be with him, I'll always be with you. Mary ran and told her friends that Jesus was not dead, but they were much too doubtful to believe anything she said. His followers were frightened, and so that very night they secretly met inside a room and locked the door real tight. They feared the foes of Jesus and felt they had to hide. Then suddenly one noticed Jesus standing by his side. His friends thought Jesus was a ghost. He sensed their frightened mood. And then to prove he was alive, Jesus asked for food. When they saw Jesus eating, they rejoiced, for then they knew that he was truly risen. What Mary had said was true. Jesus said that soon he'd send the Holy Spirit to them to help them share the happy news that Jesus lives again. He said they all should preach his teachings every day and they would baptize everyone who follows in his way. 
The time had come for Alice to leave that Bible scene. She came back home by walking through her very special screen. She took her book inside and thought, There are so many reasons why Easter's such a holy time, the happiest of seasons. On Easter morning, Jesus rose. He was no longer dead, and everything had happened in just the way he'd said. His church was born on Easter when he told his friends to share the good news of his teachings with people everywhere. Then Alice thought, I'm glad to be a friend of Jesus too. I'll spread his word and feel him near each day my whole life through. And that was the story of Easter all about Jesus. You can hear a story anytime right here on the back porch with Lucy, Litsy, Lila, and me. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.